Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on statistics. In this video, we'll be calculating the variance and standard deviation of grouped data. So we start with the problem. The frequency distribution table shows the scores of applicants in an aptitude test. Calculate the variance and standard deviation of the distribution. So we have the scores in groups and the respective frequencies. So we then go ahead to solve the problem. We have rearranged the table in a vertical form so that we go with the formula for variance, which is sigma f into x minus x bar squared over n minus 1. So we take the next column to be x, and this x represents the mid value of each of the class intervals which we are going to be using to calculate the x bar and that x bar is the mean of the grouped data where n is sum of the frequencies so we go ahead to create the column for x so we then go ahead with the first class interval which is 1 to 10 to get the mid value for this class interval we add 1 to 10 and divide the sum by 2 that's 1 plus 10 gives 11, 11 divided by 2 gives 5.1. And the next class interval, 11 plus 20 divided by 2 gives 15.5. 21 plus 30 divided by 2 gives 25.5. 31 plus 40 divided by 2 gives 35.5. 41 plus 50 divided by 2 gives 45.5. 51 plus 60 divided by 2 gives 55.5 61 plus 70 divided by 2 gives 65.5 71 plus 80 divided by 2 gives 75.5 81 plus 90 divided by 2 gives 85.5 and finally 91 plus 100 divided by 2 gives 95.5 and that is for the column of x which represent the mid values for the class intervals. The next thing is to calculate x bar, which is the mean of this grouped data. So we still recall that x bar is sigma fx over sigma f, that is the summation of f times x divided by the summation of f. So we have the next column of fx here fx means the frequency times the mid value so 2 times 5.5 gives 11 3 times 15.5 gives 46.5 5 times 25.5 gives 127.5 11 times 35.5 gives 390.5 20 times 45.5 gives 910 30 times 55.5 gives 1665 12 times 65.5 gives 786 8 times 75.5 gives 604 6 times 85.5 gives 513 and 3 times 95.5 gives 286.5 we then sum up the two columns that is f and fx so summing up the columns for f, we have 100. Summing up the column for fx, we have 5,340. Substituting into this formula to get our x bar, we are going to have it as 5,340 divided by 100, and that is 53.4. So that is the x bar. The next thing now is to create column for x minus x bar. Thereafter, we square before we multiply by the frequency. We have the next column, x minus x bar, then x minus x bar all squared. The last one is f times x minus x bar squared. So x minus x bar, that's this x, which is the mid value minus 53.4 so starting from the first interval 5.5 5 
minus 53.4 gives negative 47.9 15.5 minus 53.4 gives negative 37.9 25.5 minus 53.4 gives negative 27.9 35.5 minus 53.4 gives negative 17.9 45.5 minus 53.4 gives negative 7.9. 55.5 minus 53.4 gives 2.1. 65.5 minus 53.4 gives 12.1. 75.5 minus 53.4 gives 22.1. 85.5 minus 53.4 gives 32.1 and finally 95.5 minus 53.4 gives 42.1 we then go ahead to square this column to get this column so negative 47.9 squared gives 2294.41 negative 37.9 squared gives 1436.41 negative 27.9 squared gives 778.41 negative 17.9 squared gives 320.41 negative 7.9 squared gives 62.41 2.1 squared gives 4.41 12.1 squared gives 146.41 22.1 squared gives 488.41 32.1 squared gives 1030.41 42.1 squared gives 1772.41 and that's all for this column the next column now is multiplying the frequency by x minus x bar squared so we have this column multiplying this column to give the last column here so two times this gives 4588.82 three times this gives 4309.23 five times this gives 3892.05 11 times this gives 3524.51 20 times this gives 1248.20 30 times 4.41 gives 132.30 12 times this gives 1756.92 8 times this gives 3907.28 6 times this gives 6182.46 finally three times this gives 5317.23 and that's all for this and the next thing is to find the sum of this column so summing it up from our calculator we have 34859 we then go ahead to substitute into this formula to get our variance so the numerator here is this and this n minus 1 is 100 minus 1 so that we now have it as 34859 divided by 99 and this is evaluated to give us 352.11 representing the variance of the distribution in this table so to go for the standard deviation, standard deviation is square root of variance. So we then find the square root of 352.11 and that gives 18.76, representing the standard deviation of the distribution in this table. And this is all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Until we come your way again, Goodbye.